welcome back to my channel, Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict. I'm Marina, and I have another huge Dollar Tree haul for you guys. I am actually expecting um, my really good friend Constance, who is coming up from South Carolina to visit Pamela from Pamela's World and me. And Constance has just restarted her channel. It is called Butterfly Moms Creations and More. I'm going to put a... Uh, I'm going to write it up here so you guys can find it. Sometimes it's a little hard to find. And if I could figure out how to link it down below, I'll do that too. But um, she's coming to visit. So I was hoping to get these huge, huge Dollar Tree hauls done so that when she comes, there's room for more shopping, of course. She's really excited about going to the Dollar Trees out here in New York. And I'm really excited for her because she is a diehard Dollar Tree addict. And um, I have a bunch of exciting little collections of things to share with you guys today that I've sort of been collecting because, so this is going to sound crazy, but I had this dream. First, I saw Anna from Only In My Dreams hold these wreaths. And I'm sure you guys saw her thumbnail. She was like, look at what I found. And she was right to have that face. These are awesome. They're a little smaller than the YouTube world would lead us to believe, but they're fabulous for a buck because they are already done. This one is like a perfect New Year's beginning for a New Year's wreath. I think you can, you know, actually two of these together, you can probably make a cute snowman or three of them. I don't know. I just feel like these wreaths are the beginning of something fantastic. So when I saw Anna hold these, I was like, wow. Then when I went to the store and saw them in real life, I was like, oh my God, that purple one. I wanted that so badly. Like, I love the purple one. Really love it. And I do love the orange and black one as well. I love all of them. I think they all have a purpose. So then I was like, hmm, I don't know what I'm going to do. Like, I love the idea of breaking apart the scarecrow decor sign that the Dollar Tree has and putting it all over this and making like a scarecrow themed wreath. There's so many things you can do. You could put the jack-o'-lantern solar lights on that and it'll light up in your door. That would be super cute too. But I bought them all and then I went to sleep that night and I was like, I have this story that's going on in my head with this wreath. I'm telling you guys, this really happened. And I was like, I saw those tinsel because I did pick these up as well. These like purple and black tinsel witches booties, which like I find really amusing. And it's like, she could be like dancing or whatever. She could be falling, whatever. She could be falling like in the Wizard of Oz, but they also have this purple and black tinsely hat that's covered in lint. Everything in my house is always covered in lint. Oh, it's from this guy. I always pick these up. I love these things, but we'll get to that. So I saw these and I bought all of this tinsel happiness and I was like, what? I want those all to live together. And then I had this dream about how she had too much witch's brew and it all comes together in a wreath. So I'm going to be doing that. I bought this. I bought three of these actually because one of them, I'm going to glue one to the other and make it double sided because I can't stand that when they spin, they're blank on the other side. But if you just buy two of them, which is what I did, I actually bought three. Um, but if you buy two of them, and just glue them together. You don't even have to glue the top part on. You could use the pick your poison and, you know, maybe display it with your cool, if you still have them as poison jars. I turned mine into fall jars, but I actually have a second set that I could use that for because um, I love those jars. But I'm just going to glue. You guys know what I mean. Okay, so I'm just going to, yeah, I'm just going to glue them on like that. And then they'll be double-sided because then, then this sign will, will make me happy. The way it is right now, it drives me crazy because it, see, I don't want to look at the back of that. That's gross. But then when I really took a look at this, I was like, oh, my witch has had too much brew. It's going in the wreath. So I have like a whole storyline behind my, um, Oh, she, she wasn't driving a car. She was driving a broom, obviously. So she's going to have a witch's broom. So I have the makings of this whole crazy wreath in my head and this like fun, drunk driving, well, witch's brew driving story 
that she crashed, obviously. Um, and then I bought these because these could be her witch eyeballs. And I was like trying to decide if it looked too crazy with the hat. And I was thinking of getting a bigger hat and waiting for the costumes. But I love the tinsel hat. So maybe her eyes just bugged out because she was like so witch is brewed up. See, like, I don't know. I have a whole thing going on and I dreamt about it. So I have to make it happen. I seem to always pick up these glitter eyeballs. <laughs> I buy them every year. I really, really love them. And this year is no exception. I use them in my DIY last year as well. And I always end up doing like DIYs that have like a story. I don't know. Things are always crashing into my house though. <laughs> Why that is, I must have like subconscious um, fear that something will crash into my house because it's so windy here at night and I must be hearing that in my sleep. So if you've been following my channel, you know that my coffee bar had a similar kind of story with elves that crashed into my coffee bar. So I guess I dream about that. I don't know. But I also picked this up because, because look at that. Look at the color of this pumpkin. Like I need this in my world. It comes with a striped like, I just need cups like this anyway, because I am, I have to always make sure that they don't have a chemical smell. It smells okay. Um, I just like cups like this to drink out of because I spill everything. And I mean, yes, I love it. I love it. Literally love it. You could probably put, um, I think, I think actually I did hear, uh, the twisted gypsy say that she was thinking of putting lights in here. They would fit, and that might be really cute too, and you could use it as decor, not just as a cup. You just take this out and use it as decor because it is such a, like if you take out the straw, you could totally maybe bling it out or do whatever with it because it's so, so pretty. It looks like glass, actually. I really like it. It's very, very cute. It makes me really happy to drink out of here, bottom line. I did pick up a couple of these little holiday Halloween oriented colored, but you could use these purple. What you could honestly use these any time of the year for anything that you want. But I bought them to use them in that Halloween Christmas tree and probably maybe in my wreath. I don't know, but I couldn't resist them. And I do have the Halloween Christmas tree somewhere, but it's not currently right in front of me. So it may not be in this haul, but I do have it. And then um, I picked up this beware sign because obviously if my witch um, was driving under the influence of her witch's brew, um, there's going to have to be caution tape around everything. So I got that because I feel like that needs to be a part of it. I don't know. I have this whole thing going on in my head and... I love it. I never, like, I don't know if I implement my vision as well as I could, but I definitely get visions. I wish I could just have someone actually, oh, I can maybe get Constance to do it because she's very crafty. I could tell her my vision and we could maybe do it together. Um, so I pick these up. And first of all, I love getting bootleg Tupperware at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. It's like the greatest thing that the Dollar Tree was like invented for party supplies and bootleg Tupperware originally back in the day. That's what I think it was the best for. And then it grew into this wonderful blossomed green tree of happiness that makes everything great. That's why it's my happy place. But this witch way to the party. Oh, my witch was on her way to her party, but she pre-gamed and that's why she ended up in my wreath. But, um, so yeah, which way to the party? And it's that cute, cute Dollar Tree witch from this year. Aw, oh, she's so cute. I, I, I love these. I mean, who doesn't love Dollar Tupperware? But here's the wah, 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 wah moment. I'm going to be mismating these Tupperware because I'm not going to lie. I do have some grubby ones from Christmas that I could just use the lids on because I'm going to be using the lids from these to do something so, so easy, and I can't believe, and I've been toying with the idea of doing this for the longest time, and then someone beat me to the punch, because every time I buy these things, I'm like, why don't people make tear trays out of those? Why don't people make tear trays out of those? But, but, here's the thing. I've been seeing everybody painting these, and doing all sorts of stuff with these Hot Wheels tracks, 
I am not about to paint this. I'm not. You're, there is nothing in the world that's going to get me to sit down and paint this. I don't have that kind of patience. But they are bright orange. And that is an acceptable, already painted Halloween color. Now, you see how these things bend so easily. This, you, could, uh, you get two. So you can make two of them with one purchase. And, of course, those are also great for Hot Wheels cars. But um, you guys already know about those. I actually um, look to get Hot Wheels sets when they're on clearance at Walmart because you get track and the launcher and some cars for not a lot of money. But um, you see how that would be perfect with some E6000? And then you can have two levels. You guys, oh, you know what? Because I'm being crafty right now. I can use um, Sammy's expression from Shop with Sammy, but she actually had originally, which I'm sure you guys know, her channel um, is called Unicorn Dust Designs, and she always says, are you picking up what I'm putting down? I love when she says that. So are you guys picking up what I'm putting down here? You, Hello, how cute is that? It's the perfect colors, and I don't have to paint anything. To me, that's perfect. And you probably can do it with hot glue and E6000, but I'm just gonna use those little clippy things from the Dollar Tree and just E6000 it, or maybe crazy glue it overnight. But I can put my Halloween village in here. I'm so, so excited that I thought of that because I was like, I really wanna do something with those Hot Wheels tracks, but I'm not about to paint them. I'm not, and I'm psyched so psyched about it and if I feel like getting really adventurous maybe I'll wrap like some purple ribbon oh yeah that would be cute uh, I'm, I probably won't even do that I'm not gonna lie I'm kind of a no frills DIYer the no frillsier the more the more I'm into it I like super duper easy easy DIYs so I'm psyched about this and like I said I'm still going to use these as Tupperwares because I'm going to throw my Christmas ones out and just put red lids on them for now and for basically ever because the older ones are gross already. The next items that I cannot wait to share with you guys and hope that everybody that's looking for them finds them are these color forms. They are so much better than last year's. Oh boy, are they better. So I did show them in a walkthrough and show the difference. Now you get over 70 color forms in this year's little handy dandy carrying case style. And last year's had between 30 and 40, depending on the character set. But all of this year's have 70 pieces. So you get more stuff to lose and play with and vacuum up, but that kids will enjoy in the beginning until they end up in the vacuum cleaner or in the dustbin and that's the reality but you know what it doesn't matter it's a dollar these color forms are just fantastic now i'm going to show you guys what it's like because they are legitimately a color forms item so here it is right and you open it up and it's so so much better than last year's do you guys see the difference for those of you who bought last year's I am amazed at what you get this year. It's like a whole little world, basically. You get like a Jurassic World. See that? It's scene number one. You get like this scene or this scene or this scene. And it's very cool. Kids love color forms. Then there's this blank piece of paper so it doesn't get scratched and you get all of these awesome dinosaur pieces, just awesome, awesome Jurassic Park, kids love them, color forms that you can peel and stick, peel and stick, peel and stick. They can put them on your walls. They're not going to ruin anything. These are a great, great stocking stuffer. Great. I have cleaned up on these everywhere I find them I try to get a case they do have multiple cases in the store so I've gone to a lot of stores and I've got multiple cases of these and I'm so grateful that they up 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 cycled these and made them so much better than last year's these are a cut above last year's by far last year's were just pieces of paper basically like a hard cardstock paper that was inside of the little 
tube that they came in. This is so much better than last year's. So that was the Jurassic World version, like I showed you guys. Then they have Mr. Potato Head. How cool is that? And in the Mr. Potato Head one, in the scenes, they have like Miss Potato. Look at all the different scenes. You could do Miss Potato Head. It's not just Mr. Potato Head. You basically get Miss Potato Head and like a bunch of Potato Head people. I mean, like I want to bust this out and do it. That looks fun. That looks like really fun, good, clean fun. They're not going to make a mess. This is great to take with you in a tote. Let the kids do it in a doctor's office or in a waiting room somewhere, whatever, wherever. This is a great in the car. They're not going to spill stuff and right all over the windows. And it comes in frozen. Every little girl is going to want this. Absolutely, positively love, absolutely love it. It's amazing. This is an amazing buy for a dollar. And yes, LOL surprise, super duper cute. And the scenes in the background are at like a, an adventure park. It's just so cute. The little girls that are playing with this or little boys to each his own are going to love it. I think that for a dollar, I cannot get enough of these. I didn't realize it, but I also picked up the black ones. I must have something cooking up there that I forgot about because I picked up the purple, the orange, and the black little ornaments for whatever I come up with for my Halloween look. I also picked up, I wanted to find those big cinnamon scented brooms and spray paint it purple, but I couldn't find them. So I did settle on these two pieces of willow that are very purple and spooktacular. I feel that they will very easily with some jute cord become a very fantastic witch's broom. Can you guys see that? And it's almost like, it reminds me of Harry Potter, the shape of these willow brooms. So I love that, love it. I really love this willow. I needed a reason to buy it because it just looks like, I don't know, it speaks to me. And I did pick up more of this. I love these Dahlia clips. I've been putting them anywhere I can think of. I I just, I will, I want to like put them on my clothing at this point. I think they're gorgeous. I love them. And I also love the huge sunflower clips. I just think they're gorgeous for all kinds of things. But I picked up another one because I feel like my witch might, have, since she was on her way to a party, like the um, Tupperware says, she might have blinged out her ride or blinged out her hat. I don't know, but I feel like she would have had flowers going on in her look. And then I did pick these up, these skeleton tongs. Now, these are great for Halloween salads. They're not tongs, though. They're like really to stick in your grass or stick in a flower pot or have them coming out at you from something on a cabinet. You can... um. Oh, that would be so cute, actually. You could, uh, yeah, you could rest like a bowl on them. You could do a lot of things with these. They're very cool. Oh, that's a great idea, actually, that I just thought of. I'm trying to get them off because they're not attached to one another in any way. They're completely two separate, you know, hand spoons, but they're not really spoons at all. But they kind of, I mean, you can literally use these as salad tongs. That would be super cute. But imagine... If you like somehow E6000 them to like a bowl and you have them coming out at you. Yeah, somehow that would be really cool for a couple dollars. The bowl in this, you might already have an old bowl that you could just turn into. And that could be like your scary trick or treat bowl. Oh, I might do that. I love that idea, actually. I did buy one of those big, like, Halloween. It says Haunted House. I might attach this to it. I don't know. But I was also thinking maybe it would be my witch's hands. But she wouldn't already have skeleton hands. I don't know if that works for me. I do have the black, white, and silver. I don't know. I had to buy these. And I just feel like making some Halloween stuff. I love Halloween decorations. I really do. I had to buy this sign that says happy Halloween. Cause I actually love of all things, this giant moon with the bats in it. I just think it's gorgeous. I don't know why, but I really like this simple, silly sign that just says happy Halloween. I think that it's really, really nice. 
maybe I'll take it apart and add it into my wreath. I don't think that the witch that unfortunately had an accident will think it's a happy Halloween, but witches can get to come back to life on Halloween. So I guess it will be happy for her if the witch's brew accident happens prior to Halloween. So there is that, but either way that I had to get, I don't even know what I'm going to do with it, but I really like it. Maybe I'll just hang it in the front of the house. I just had to pick it up. I love these, by the way. I don't know if you guys have seen these. They're by the brand called Home Smart. And these are individually wrapped straws. And they're a little bit taller than regular straws, which I also love. I just love the fact that they're individually wrapped. Now, the only thing that I didn't know and I wasn't sure of is if these are plastic. If these are individually paper wrapped straws, big no for me. I hate paper straws. Oh yeah, that is, I love them. They're plastic. I know, I know, I know you guys, but I just can't stand drinking out of paper straws. I know it's like totally inappropriate and everything in the world is a mess, but everything in the world is a mess. I need my plastic straws. <laughs> I really do. I'm trying to give up soda. I just need to drink out of a plastic straw. The taste of a paper straw is gross to me. Absolutely gross. So I was happy to find these. I picked this power strip up. It has three outlets. These are not always around at the Dollar Tree. And when I see them like fresh and newly stocked, I'm like, eh, you know what? I might need one. I don't know where they disappear to, but whenever I need one, I can't find it. So I picked it up in case I might need it for like holiday lights or something like that. And I'm putting it in my stash. One of the other items that I had on my mega wish list, and I actually found these a long time ago, but I just have not had a chance to haul them. When I was on vacation, I found like one or two in every store I went to, but not a ton of them. And I bought them everywhere I found them because I really wanted to get lots and lots of these for the shelter. And since I've been back, I have bought quite a few cases. I have been very fortunate. They seem to be very well stocked in a lot of stores. And these are called the Bubble Snap Pops. And they are, in fact, a Royal Deluxe accessory. Not a Greenbrier product, but it does seem to be always popping up in the Dollar Tree. So they're, you know, some sort of Chinese import company. They are very, very fun. Kids love them that have all kinds of attention issues, they're, they're just great. They're, they're tension relievers and bubble snap pops are like bubble wrap, but, um, obviously they're endless. I did get them in all the colors and shapes. Like I said, I have multiple cases, but here's the weird thing. Um, mommy's budget, she hauled them and she showed a heart shaped one. I have like a few cases and I've never been able to find a blue one. Every case is completely different as far as what you get in it. They're not uniform, so it's so weird. I've bought, I think, four cases of them so far, and I've never found a heart-shaped one. I saw she had a blue heart-shaped one. I have lots of circle ones, lots of unicorn ones in every color. These are probably my favorite, the unicorn one. It's so, so cute. Isn't it cute? They come in square, square shape in every color, dinosaur in every color, and donkey they also have like an octopus looking one i i thought i had it out it could probably be here somewhere but there are lots of colors and lots of shapes and i have bought all of them every one of them but i've never found the heart which is maddening has anybody else found the heart shaped ones because that one is really cute i would love to have found a pink heart one i think that would have been cute to use as a diy in valentine's i found these really beautiful metal garden stakes and i mean you don't have to use them in metal it says it just says metal sunflower they're they're not as long as the metal garden stakes usually are and they have this really cool spring thing going on let me see if i see that like little spring there so they're bouncy and i think that they're so cute for my flower pots that i have outside i'm going to put fake sunflowers in them like I have these urns and I like to put fake flowers in them because we all know I don't have a green thumb I like to put fake sunflowers in them 
or like fall leaves and stuff like that. Yeah, like I'm going to put a bunch of orangey looking fall stuff in there and I'm going to put some of these in them. And then I'm going to put these solar lights that are sunflowers. Do you guys remember those? I hold those a million years ago. Well, they're getting busted out for my fall um, deck, you know, makeover. And it's been like months and I'm still waiting on Lowe's to bring my door. I ordered a new door because my door literally practically blew off its hinges because it's so windy here about where I live. And uh, some of them are lighter than others but they're actually supposed to all be the same. So I got like three of each and I'm really excited. I'm really excited about these. They're super duper cute. I feel like they're really nicer than the usual sunflower steaks that they have. So I was hoping to get my deck makeover done for the spring, for the summer, but now I'm gonna end up having it to be a fall makeover because I guess they're gonna finally bring my door. They called me to say that it's finally at Lowe's and someone's going to schedule an appointment with me. Has anybody ever had work done by Lowe's? And how long does it take? I know everything is taking longer now with COVID because everyone's so backed up, but it's it's been like a few months that I paid for the door and it's crazy. Like no one's even called me to schedule my appointment. How long did it take you guys to get your work done? Um, I found these pumpkins and I love them. I love, love the thankful. I love grateful and I love blessed and I had such a hard time deciding, but if I don't end up putting them, if I don't end up putting, I don't, I, I was thinking that I would put the blue one in the background here, but then I decided that I love them all. They, they really deserve to be like in a topiary in some big space somewhere. I don't know, like on an old pantry door paint it and make it like a huge piece of decor for the holidays and bling it out with like floral and stuff. If I had a big space, that's what I would do. I would find like an old cabinet door, glue these onto it and paint it like cool. I, I would totally do that because I think these are that nice. But since I don't have that and I'm envisioning them on cabinet doors, I'm going to um, hang each and every one of these on one of my kitchen cabinet doors because... I just, I really like them. I think they're such a nice size. They feel thicker than last year's. The, the decor at the Dollar Tree, the wall decor has become thicker, which means it will last longer. And I really appreciate that. I did have to, full disclosure, re-glue my metal pieces back onto them because every single one of them fell off. But that was an easy fix and now they're done. And yeah, I think that I'm going to have these for many years to come. I really like them. They're really, they're just really, I feel like, I don't know. They make me happy when I hold them. Like I want to play like cards with them. Like I just want to like be like, here you go. Here's a blessed. Here you go. Here's a grateful. Like, I don't know. There's something about them. They have like a really good feel to them. They're exciting. I really like these. So I did pick up a few of these, actually three. I only picked up the ones that look like honeycomb. I really, really like that. I think it's so beautiful. I don't actually want that on it though. Um, it does come with that, but luckily since I was, since I picked up three, I'm going to actually turn them into fall earrings, uh, that, which I think will be really cute. They're very lightweight. It comes with it for free on the um, glass. I just don't like it on the glass. I, I don't. I think it's cuter with nothing. I personally, I like it with nothing. And I just think it'll look really pretty. I could put some jus cord on it or I could put sunflowers on it, but I just don't like these on it. I don't think that I like this rubber elastic stuff, but I do really, really, I so, like I said, I bought three of those candle holders and I do think that they'll be super cute fall earrings. Don't you guys think so? I do. So I could even maybe make a necklace out of the third. Oh my God, I can. That would be so cute. Definitely making earrings out of them. But I bought three of them because when I put candle tea lights in here, I can swap it out for those candles when they're done and put it on my little sunflower creation. And I think that'll be kind of pretty also. So... I really like that idea. I love those candles. I've actually, I've been burning those candles and they've been lasting me a long time, but 
eventually they are going to be gone and they'll be out of the Dollar Tree. So I could just do that. And I think that'll be pretty as well. And it won't burn into my furniture. Cause if I put like a naked candle there, it will eventually burn down. Um, like I can't let this burn all the way down. You guys know what I mean. Eventually you have to stop burning them on there and put them into something that's more closed. Once this candle is all burned out, I'm going to take the bumblebee and put it onto a piece of jute cord and then tie it onto this glass because I think it just goes better with the honeycomb than the leaf. I just don't think they go together, in my opinion. So I got tea lights and earrings for the price of one. I do really love the idea of making these into earrings and I think they're gonna be really cute earrings. So that, there's that. So I do have like a bunch of mini DIYs in this haul that was not really planned, but sometimes it just happens. You go to the Dollar Tree and you just get inspired. Um, these always are like, for me, a pickup, always, always a pickup. I bought those felt sunflower felt fabric things. I don't know if you guys remember them. I love them. I'm going to be gluing them onto here so I can make some pillows for the outside on my deck chairs. And since I haven't seen the red ones yet, I picked up some green ones just in case I need these for Christmas. You never know. When you see them, you buy them. I love putting old ruined pillow stuffing inside of these, sticking something on them and putting them on the deck chairs for a couple bucks. It's like the perfect outdoor pillow because it, it goes in the garbage when you're done. But those big sun those big felt sunflowers are going to be awesome on this brown background. I absolutely loved them when I saw them because that was the first thing I thought of. Those are going to look great. I'm excited about that. I was able to find this in-wash aroma booster and odor eliminator. But here's the kicker, you guys. This is not a Dollar Tree product. I believe, I think this is sold in Dollar General. I'm not sure, but I think distributed by XPG Company. I feel like I've seen that in Dollar General, um, but maybe I'm wrong. I, I could be wrong. Sometimes I get these things confused, but this is 17.5 ounces, maybe Family Dollar. I think this might be for family. I don't know, but I know that it's 17 and a half ounces for a dollar. This is huge, huge, and it is full, and it smells good. It actually... It does. It smells really good. I even showed it in my walkthrough. It has like a lot of, oopsie, I spilled it. it, has a lot of different fragrances in it. So it's definitely floral, but I've already used, I picked up five of these because I feel like I'll never see them again. And that is an awesome, awesome deal. And I love, love this. I do wash clothing that is donated to my organization. So I stowed these away for when we're allowed to give you stuff to the shelters again, because you always need this. For a dollar, this is an awesome buy, awesome. We've already, you, we're very accident prone family, but um, we've already gone through a tube of this and this works amazingly well for a dollar. This is not a dollar in CVS, you guys. And it says that it's, compared to the active ingredients in these Neosporin. And I can honestly say that this is a Sheffield product. This is not garbage. It is a brand name for a dollar. This is a good item. Really and truly, I love when I find things by Sheffield name. And I also picked up this medicated moisturizer that is for psoriasis relief. Cause sometimes my husband does get psoriasis. You guys hear my dogs. This is why I do car hauls. Yep. This is why somebody must be walking down the block. Maxi, Mabel. So this is by the brand Tape It, and it is a really good tape brand. I will tell you guys that right now. Anytime you see this brand called Tape It, pick it up. They make very, very, very awesome packing tape that I've been on the hunt for more of because I loved it and I hope to get more, but I did find this electrical tape buy tape it and I was actually thinking because there's two you get two packs for a dollar which at Home Depot it's three dollars for electrical tape for one roll of good electrical tape but I also figured oh I smacked myself in the face with that okay I also figured that when I am making this tear tray if I feel like wrapping this track and making it kind of like Halloween candy cane 
I could do that and that'll be like really just easy and just a little bit of tape will go the whole way around. So that's just a great little addition, really simple. In this, you get two 36 foot rolls of electrical tape. Again, good quality. I did pick up this tote. You know what? I've been buying lots of totes lately. I can't help it when they don't have any words on them or even when they do have words on them. When they have words on them, I like to use them. When they don't have any, I feel like they make perfect gift bags. But this one just gives me a total Jackie O vibe. So I had to get it. I feel like if I'm going shopping, I can even like carry it almost like a purse for the day. Like if I go to the flea market, this could be my collect all my treasures um, bag. Because I do like to go to the flea market in the fall, not so much in the super hot summer days. And this is the perfect flea marketing treasure hunting bag. So like how Pamela likes to say her treasure bag, but this will be my flea market treasure bag. And I, I really, it really does remind me of like 60s Jackie O. It has a super retro vibe. I really, really love it. So guys, the story behind this pail is that I saw it um, a few weeks ago. And I fell in love with it and I was going to record it. But then one of my friends from the Dollar Tree started talking to me. I never recorded it. I never bought it. I went home and I was looking for it. And I was like, oh, I don't have it in my footage. Oh, I don't have it in my cart. Oh, I left it. So I rushed back to the Dollar Tree and it was gone. And then the other day I found just one, one lonely, beautiful, beautiful. I literally am in love with this. This is so pretty. Isn't this pretty? I actually like it better than all the other pails, but I didn't think I was ever going to see it again. And where they have placed the handle does kind of drive me crazy because it's over the happy fall. See that? Like they could have just, I don't know, but I love it regardless. I think it's amazing. I love the bicycle so, so much. I don't like that it's covering the word happy fall and I love the pumpkins I, I love this. I wish that they had made these ginormous pails in, yes, that would have been amazing, but they didn't. And remember I passed this up? Well, I did end up picking it up because I don't know what I was thinking. So now I have an abundance of these metal buckets. I don't know what I'm doing with them, but this one is definitely going in the coffee bar. Um, that is sort of like a hodgepodge. I have not really been able to cohesively pull it together yet and make it look like the way I wanted to but this this bucket because it has oranges and blues it might actually pull it together for me so I was so happy when I found that yes absolutely yes and then this I have no idea what I'm doing with I might even make a flower arrangement and gift it depending on what I plan on doing for Thanksgiving but it's going in my arsenal of fall goodies when I was on vacation, I believe I was actually in the last store in South Carolina. They had a lot of really interesting books in that store. One of them was this Chicken Soup for the Soul, Life Lessons from the Dog. And I mean, just look at that dog. I, I just, I can't handle how cute that dog is. So I picked it up because I have a lot of animal loving friends that will really get a little bit of inspiration out of these books. So I always pick up animal friendly books. They're always a big hit. So I'm not sure actually if I shared this in my previous haul because I had found this while we were away, picked it up, and then I found another copy and I picked it up because when I thumbed through the book, I decided that this book is hilarious for people that are kind of like sarcastic, my son's age and up, up to maybe 30s. And the name of the book is Rhett Link's Book of Mythicality, A Field Guide to Curiosity, Creativity, and Tomfoolery. And believe it or not, although it's, first of all, it has really awesome pictures that I personally enjoyed looking through the book myself. It's very male-oriented, um, young adult male-oriented, but um, it just has funny little things like snarky, sarcastic humor but you actually kind of get some life lessons out of it. I just think that it makes, I feel like this book makes a really good gift. Like when my son gets invited to some of his friends' birthday parties or things like that, they're all like really kind of smart 
geeky computer guys. They have a sarcastic humor. They usually get gift cards, obviously, but I feel like they'll like this book. So I, I'm liking the fact that I have two copies of it now. I know my son is going to love it. And like, okay, let's look at this. It says 20 ways to embrace immaturity. Wear your undies on the outside. Drink from dog dish. Say you dig at the end of your sentences. Like, see, my son would do that. He would go through an entire day saying, you dig, you dig. Oh, mom, I'm being a boomer. You dig. Like, he would just do something like that. Like, he would get it off the internet and think it was the funniest thing ever. Uh, walk like a cartoon character. Repeat everything your friend says. Uh, he would do that until he, he drove people crazy. He just has that kind of zany sense of humor. Go on a Bigfoot hunt in your backyard. Let a kindergartner play, plan your day. <laughs> yeah, see, he would do these things. So I just feel like he will get a kick out of this. It has like tons of silly, zany pictures. I don't know who these two guys are actually at all, um, but I just have a feeling that he's going to love this book. I think he's going to think it's very funny and silly, and it's just something to quickly take a look at and then pass it on. Oh, look, it shows Marie Antoinette and then the solution to her hair. <laughs> look at her crazy hair. And then she has a simple pixie cut. Like, I don't know. I just think it's funny. I think he's going to think it's funny. Most of the stuff that is in here is just sarcasm that I would buy the real version of and be like, the most important part of the journey is taking that first step. And my son would be like, mom, here is the most important part of the journey. And he would be like, this is actually the truth. Like he's very sarcastic. So this says sometimes the most important part of the journey is deciding to go. <laughs> and that's what he would say. That's exactly what he would say. I feel like he wrote this book. Never mind like it. So I just think he's definitely going to like it. It was a buck. I feel like people in his age group will like it as well. So I'm going to hold on to it. And I do have one of his friends in mind that I think would get a kick out of it also. So evidently they have a TV show called Good Mythical Morning. I think my son would even like the show. And then there's another part of it that says the laughter compatibility test and it has like a quiz to see if you're like compatible with your friends. Uh, the evolution of our comedy. I don't know. He's going to love this silly book. For a dollar, you can't go wrong. It was originally 21 bucks. And I definitely think it's a good little buy for a dollar. I found this book called The Pharaoh's Gate. And I also bought this when I was out of town. It was originally $24.95, which is a crazy price to get a book at a dollar. I've actually found so many great books lately. Um, just fun books that even if no one in my household wants them, if I put them in the giveaways for the shelter, some teenager might want this book, male or female. On the back uh, cover, it says, Bantock, that's the author, has fashioned a maddeningly labyrinth, wildly romantic and exquisite work that reveals how much story can be conveyed with a few well-placed words and images. A work of art, extremely original, classical myth reality and fantasy are blended artfully in this modern allegory. Now, I have to be honest, I was really drawn in by the pictures in the book. Um, it's one of those books that has beautiful like letters and you have to read the correspondence. I literally have to bust out the magnifying glass that I bought from the Dollar Tree to deal with the print on this, but it's okay. So this would be the front of the letter and this would be the back. And then you open it and you read the letter and it tells you part of the story. And it's correspondence between these two people. And um, I don't know what I like books like that. I've had them in the past and I find them to be so interesting. I. It speaks to like some voyeur part of me that likes to read people's mail or I could never have worked for the post office. Like I, literally I would be obsessed with opening packages or I have not read it yet, but I'm really intrigued by it. Look at this um, envelope. It has like this mermaid and I don't know what is going on in this book, but this beautiful woman, obviously vintage kind of, I don't know. I don't know, but I'm very intrigued by the story. And like on a cold day, I'm going to sit my butt down and I'm going to read the whole thing.
it's a very easy read and it just it just looks really beautiful it has gorgeous gorgeous artwork in it it is really all about the artwork it's just a beautiful piece of art and I don't know once I'm done reading it I'll probably pass it on but for a dollar who would leave that on the shelf not me no way I could always gift this to someone somebody will always be interested in reading this story and probably passing it on again. I love the idea of reading something and passing it on. I picked up this book called Wild Mediterranean. And if you've been following my channel, you know my Aunt Marina loves cookbooks. She said, I like to read them like novels. And she's not kidding. And obviously being that we're Greek, she is off the boat Greek, first generation here. I'm the first generation here. So Wild Mediterranean, my aunts get a love, but I am going to thumb through it because it does look like it has a lot of recipes in here that have been kind of slightly simplified for today's world. But like this, I know what this is and I love it. It's called uh, fricasse. I love that. It's like a stew with like an egg and lemon gravy. It's really good. Um, I actually do not remember how to make it. My mom taught me, but I'm going to relearn before I give it to my aunt. And it just has a lot of really cool recipes, really cool recipes. And they look really delicious. The There's not a ton of pictures in the book, but because I kind of know what they're supposed to look like. And because I, you know, because it's my actual heritage, what I grew up eating. I just know that I love the recipes in here. And I know my aunt's going to get a kick out of how it's been simplified. So, yeah, I know I'm going to like it a lot. And I'm definitely going to look up that recipe for fricasse. I don't, I think it's called fricassee, fricass, fric, fricasse in English. Oh, this is called Bria. My mom used to make that all the time too. Yum, I love it. Oh my gosh. I love that. My aunt makes it really good. Wish I could just eat my, my aunt is like the greatest cook. Wish she would move with us to Florida because then I could eat her cooking every day and she would be so happy cooking for us. She is the best cook, but yeah, I picked this up to share with my aunt. This book was originally $27, a dollar at the Dollar Tree. Yes, thank you. Then I found this book. You guys don't know how long I've wanted it. It's the Friendsgiving book, and it says celebrate your family of friends, recipes, menus, and ideas, and I don't know. I just love the idea. I just love the idea of gifting this book to friends at Friendsgiving, so if I do have people over maybe the day before, the day after Thanksgiving, I bought three copies of this so they can go home with this cookbook. I think it'll be cute, and maybe I'll try to cook something in here. Uh, it says kale and butternut squash salad with spicy seeds and goat cheese. I can just tell you right now that my husband will not be eating that, but I have to invite girlfriends over to eat things like that in my house because they will not eat that. But I would love, I would love that. I would love to eat that every day. So yeah, yum, yum, yum. I bought three copies and I want to share this at Friendsgiving and we'll see if that pans out this year. I was so excited when I saw these at the Dollar Tree. These are great great for the shelter the the shelter population that i deal with loves stuff like this this is an awesome find at the dollar tree dark and lovely does make products for obviously women of color or men of color but i will say that uh this does fight damage and um i have used items like this in the not this specific one i've never used this but i've used items like this to deep condition my hair <laughs> it's actually so funny because I watched um, the Twisted Gypsy just hold this and I actually love the container also just as an FYI because you can peel this label off once it's done and look at that shape it's so cute you could do something with that um, which I would have to but you can like put your bracelets in it even it has a really cute plain pink cover and once you peel the label off it's just a see-through tub um, but she was saying that her daughter said it smells like crayons and Play-Doh, and it kind of does. It smells like fruity, coconutty, 
Play-Doh and crayons all together. So I think everybody's right. Plus I threw in some fruit. It smells like pineapple and it smells like pineapple, coconut, crayons, and Play-Doh all together to me. But I have a funny feeling that this is going to be a really good conditioner. Um, it's a steam conditioning mask. So you put it on, you put something over your hair and you let it get really hot, like a plastic, plastic bag. Um, and that will really work. And if you're, if you're lucky enough to have one of those things that you can sit under, I used to have that before I moved here. It was like a vintage one. Did you guys ever see those? It's like a big old, it's like a little suitcase and you, oh, it was vintage and I bought it in a thrift store, but it was so cute. It was like hot pink and blue and it was like a little round suitcase. And then you used to open the lid, like you used to unlatch it and put it to the side and lift it out. And it was like a, like a heat, like a blow dryer, but like a bonnet. And you would put it like on a table. Like I would put it here, let's say, and sit behind it and it would blow. My, oh my God. I loved that thing, but it started to get so hot that I was scared it might like catch fire. So I had to give up on it, but I used to love that thing. And I would sit under it with like big curlers and watch TV blasting. Cause it would be so loud. I love, love, love those kind of things. I just love old beauty parlor stuff. It's just so fun and colorful and retro, but I envision using something like that with one of these kind of things, but I'll just put a plastic bag over my head and, and let it, penetrate through my hair because it's probably really good. And then this is the um, Dark and Lovely Damage Slayer Texture Bond Fights Seven Damage Factors Restore Shampoo. It says gently cleanses and nourishes. And I don't really see why I can't use it in my hair. So I'm going to test it out. But it is made for um, a different texture of hair. But my hair is so fried that anything that has... Um, it has no parabens, no petroleum, no mineral oils, and no alcohols. So that sounds good to me. I'm going to give this a shot. Lastly, I did find the Protector Leave-In Spray that fights damage by Dark and Lovely. And I love, love leave-in sprays like this for that are actually, that are made for women of color. I love them. I always use them when I put my rollers in my hair and they make my hair look like it's moist and not dried out. So that is always a pleasure. I do actually, when I can't find anything else at the Dollar Tree, um, like they have like this olive oil type of spray that they have that I've bought in the past. But when I can't find any of those, I like the Salon Selectives leave-in uh, treatment. If you guys have never tried that or have tried it, let me know what you guys think of it. I almost always pick that up. It, I go through it really quickly because I use my hot rollers almost every day. But I have a funny feeling I'm going to regret not keeping a lot of these for myself. I just kept one, but this looks like a really, really good product. And it says that it's lotus flower scented. So let's see what this one smells like. It smells kind of like pineapple coconut scented not lotus flower not that I know what that would smell like exactly but it smells good I think it's gonna do a great job and that's what I'm excited about those are good products they're not a dollar these are like are five or six bucks at the store so for a dollar this is a really good deal and I was happy to get quite a few of those while I was away on vacation don't ask me why I lost my mind but I'm okay with it um I picked up this 12 color LA colors eyeshadow palette because I could have sworn I had never seen it before sometimes you're in a new place you just get disoriented it's called urban when I got back I was like yes I have seen that before am I nuts but I don't know why for some reason it looked good to me when I was away everything was like brighter and bolder because I was so happy to be out of New York then I watched behind the vanity Jessica who I love and I always share to my community tab and she has like a beauty channel. She said actually that the three pan and the two pan LA Colors eyeshadows are much better than these bigger ones. But she said that this one was a good one. And I've seen her use this exact one. So I was like, you know what? I'm not going to exchange it. I'm going to keep it and I'm going to try it out. So I'm just going to swatch it. But it does have 12 colors. And in all honesty, um, 
I could see myself using this white one all the time. It's like a perfect white base kind of color, right? And it does have a cool purple shade that if you want to do your makeup in your car, which is a lot of the time when I buy LA colors or stuff like that, I just keep them in my car because they are always readily available. And if I break a really nice palette, I'll be upset. And I am very accident prone. And then the blue, that there are some cute blues. Now, it's not super high pigmented. I'll say that. But it, ha you know what? It does the job. It does the job. Actually, it's nice. Um, they're very light pastel. Ooh, I love this purple. Okay, so that is really pretty. Okay, I can see, I can see the green is very beautiful. Okay, I love it. I actually love the colors in this palette. That green is gorgeous. And I would use it with the white. Those two together are beautiful and probably the yellow because I love to put green and yellow together on my eyes for whatever reason. Um, that is a thing I find myself doing a lot. So for a dollar, it's actually not a bad little palette if you're going to take it on the go. You know, you're only going to lose a dollar. If it breaks, you can always find another. So I, I'm happy I picked it up. I don't always pick up the 12 pen palettes because I don't like that they're not um, glittery. I find that they're more matte and I don't necessarily like matte. Um, I, I always see that the three pan and two pan ones are more glittery and maybe that's why I love Behind the Vanity because she does use like makeup that has a lot of sparkle to it. I picked up a bunch, I think like eight packs of the Double Bubble Bubble Gum Watermelon and Strawberry packs of green and red bubble gum because I have one of those crane machines the kids crane machines um, left from last year. I had a few donated to me from Walmart. Um, that's like a long story though. And uh, I have one left and I'm going to fill it with strawberry and watermelon gumballs. And I'm going to bring it to the shelter during one of the smaller shelters during the holiday season. And they can put it in their like daycare center and the kids can, you know, get free gum if they're allowed to have gum, whatever. But I'm sure that they'll let them use it up. And uh, it's like a free little crane and it'll come out. So each kid will get their own individual gum. No one will be touching it. But isn't that cute that it comes in red and green? I was so excited. And I figure eight bags will be enough to fill that little crane machine. It was a very, very exciting moment when I found that gum. And then I did find some other fun gum that I picked up for my son. I picked up the Double Bubble Gumballs Dragon Eggs. I think I shared them a million years ago, but they're here now, finally getting hold. And I probably will put this gum in those um, little coffins that I give him for Halloween. He'll love that. And I do have this smoothie mix gum. I'm probably not going to put this in the Halloween thing, but I'll just give it to him because he loves gum. But this one has very Halloween-ish colors. Like, see, they're like sort of Halloween-ish. So I think he'll like that. He'll probably be like, Mom, are these left over from like Easter? So maybe I'll just leave it in the package because he'll be like, you hoarded gum? Mom, he's giving me Easter egg gum. And then probably that's what Double Bubble did. They were like, oh, we got a lot of Easter egg gum left over. Let's call it dragon eggs. Oh, that's what they did, I bet you. So I don't know why I picked this up, but I did. <laughs> I was convinced that Someone in my house loved Bit of Honey. I don't think I've ever had it. I thought I did. I don't even know if I've ever had it. Has anybody? It's by the brand Pearson's Bit of Honey. But I remember the commercials. I think that's what it is. I'm going to taste it. Is this like one of those things that you have to eat for like hours? Because we don't have our... Oh my gosh, it smells really good. It doesn't taste like honey. It tastes like caramel. 
It tastes like caramel, but it does have a bumblebee on it. I don't know what made me think I had, I don't think I've ever had one before, but it's not my favorite, but it's definitely, it's tasty. It tastes like caramel. I picked up another one of these um, really cool plastic cover with a little pocket sketch pads for my son. He's always sketching. And I just think that even though this is a Greenbrier product, like Greenbrier has made this iScholar label and it seems like it's a brand name, but it's actually a Greenbrier product. Um, it just is much nicer than they normally are at the Dollar Tree. And it's my son's second one. He loves it. You get 30 sheets. And I just feel like it's a great deal for a dollar. Things like this are not a dollar at Staples. I did pick up this candle and I know for a fact that this is old from last year. It is called Spiced Apple Rum. But you guys, when I saw this candle, I was thrilled because this happens to be one of the candles that had decent throw from last year. So when I saw this on the shelf, I was legitimately thrilled. It happens to be one of the candles that they made last year that had good throw and really cute packaging. It is just like a covering over glass. It's not painted glass or I would really love it, but it has decent throw. And I will say this, I've been burning this pom-pom candle and I love the glass. The glass is what makes this candle. I cannot get these off easily, which is extremely annoying. It does not just peel off Maybe now that it got hot. Okay, it is coming off now that it's warmer, which is kind of cool. That was like a, a trick, I guess. I'm here, right here. And I do smell it. You guys have seen me share these in walkthroughs time and time again, but I've never hauled them and they've been sitting at the bottom of my whole bag. Um, they're by Juncture, and they are the cutest gift bags. Uh, a bag of cats with glasses, absolutely, positively. I am all over that. I love this cats with glasses print. And my friend Kathy, who loves cats, this is going to be her Christmas bag, I bet you. I don't know, but I, I think that's what I got that for. And then I had to buy this. Um, I actually have one of these already. But this juncture animal print with flamingos and it's just amazing. Look at how cute that is. This is like a great gift bag for a birthday or anything. It's so colorful and happy and it can be reused. And I love reusing bags. So I picked that up and it just has purple on the inside. And the cats with glasses is just orange on the inside. They match this, the handles. I think they're amazing. I absolutely love the Dollar Tree totes lately. They are just slamming awesome, amazing. And here in Suffolk County, we don't get shopping bags. So it's like something we get a pleasure buying, unfortunately, but fortunately, I kind of like buying totes at this point because they're fun to use. Oh, I missed the double bubble gumballs cotton candy flavor as well. So I did get a lot of gum that day. And I did pick up another pack of sticky notes. I always end up using these when I'm doing giveaways. And since I have a lot of giveaways to call the winners of, I picked up this 300 pack of Jot sticky notes because I'm going to need it for the Bumblebee giveaway and the craft giveaway. So get on that and enter the craft giveaway, you guys. Don't miss out on that if you're crafty. I've been collecting nails lately for a future nail giveaway. And I did pick up some of these super bond nail kiss nail glue because i know you guys told me that you love this glue i like the brush on kind and i have that as well but i picked up some of these for future giveaways i found these gorgeous la colors nails they are literally beautiful aren't those gorgeous nails so i picked those up i also found these they're purple with gold really beautiful i picked those up I also picked these up when I was on vacation and these were like a mega wish list item that they did not really come to my area or at least I never found them in New York. And then I found these and I picked up a bunch so that I can have some for the giveaway and for myself because I think these are super duper cute. Then 
I also picked up these. They're similar to this, but not the same. See that? So you can mix and match them even. Those are fun, fun nails. I love the edge nails. They're really good. Uh, like I said, I've been picking up nails for a nail giveaway. So I've been picking up more than one every time I see them. So it's basically one for me and one for you guys. Aren't those gorgeous? I love those as well. Really pretty. Then, oh yeah, more. I'm obsessed with these actually. They're gorgeous. Then I picked up, I think I got these in, yes, Ashland, Virginia. And these do require glue, but they're medium length and you get 12. So I think, I hope I bought a second pack of these. I'm almost positive I did get a second pack because you're going to need two packs to do your nails with these. Then I picked up some of these. They're ombre, super cute as well. Really, really cool nails. I found these and I fell in love. They're like tribal and cutesy all at the same time. I don't know what that is, but it's cute. And of course I did pick up a second pack of the pink ones. And these could possibly be my absolute favorites. These are absolutely beautiful. Gorgeous, gorgeous nails. Uh, picked up a few of these because you need two to do your nails. Just one time you need two packs, but they're gold and red. So perfect for the holidays. Absolutely gorgeous nails. So that is everything on the nails. I also picked up this four ounce pack of cashews, sea salt and have pieces. Um, I'm just curious. I don't know. You get a lot of cashew for your money. I'm going to try these also just to make sure that they're good in case you guys are wondering. It says halves and pieces, but you do get like normal cashews. They're not like, you know, sometimes when they, and you could see, yeah, these taste good. There's nothing wrong with them. That is a great deal. I love cashews. Yummy. By Sassy and Chic, I also found these 20-piece nail stickers, nail art in this pink and purple. I've never seen those before. And this really cool, like, bumblebee-looking honeycomb one. These are very cool. Very nice for the fall, actually. Even if you don't do all of your nails, if you just do, like, one or two of your nails as an accent and then you polish them... I was actually kind of thinking like, see this cool Milani color? I think it's called, uh, what is this color called? This color is called Iced Mango, but how cool would it be as an accent nail with those? Which I may be doing for like the fall or Thanksgiving because I'm kind of in love with the Milani polishes. They're really nice. And... Like I said, there's this pink and purple pack. So cute. Again, I've never seen these before. And then I found these, and I don't necessarily understand these because they have, like, some extra pieces, like that part. I don't know what you do with that, but I'm probably going to put these in the nail. Oh, oh, wow. Look at how cool that is. You put it over. Wow, those are so cute. You could do all kinds of stuff with those. That is brilliant. Oh, they all have it. Durr, Marina. Durr, durr, durr. Okay, so they have a nail or they have a piece that you could put over polish. What? I didn't even get that until I really looked at it. And then, okay, but the Bumblebee ones don't have that. So they're different. And these only have 16. Well, they're not Bumblebee. They're honeycomb, but they remind me of Bumblebees. Anyway, I think these are awesome really awesome. And for a dollar, that's a fun item to buy to do something different, just a little different. Along with the spiced mango, I did pick up a bunch more of the Milani polishes. I absolutely love sparkle polish. You guys know that. So I picked up several of these. I picked up several of this gorgeous, glittery, dark red. Uh, I believe that one is called Ruby something. It's called Ruby Jewel, and the silver one is called just silver, and I did pick up this classic red, and that one is called Red to Tango, and I absolutely love, love picking these up. I also picked up a silver 
like a mirror finish silver one, which looks amazing. I already tried these actually, and I love how they look, but uh, I picked them up to give away as presents for the shelter. And I have those electric nail filers. I picked up a bunch of nail oriented stuff for some goodie bags. And I love the idea of giving these red lipsticks with the red Revlon case sparkle lipsticks. They just look amazing together and will be really beautiful, beautiful gifts for those bags that I'm making. So I did pick up quite a few. They do come, of course, with the gold case. Um, you guys have seen them all before. I did also pick up one of these LED light bulbs, 75 watts. These are a great buy. They pretty much last forever and they're definitely more at Lowe's or Home Depot. So pick them up at the Dollar Tree, you guys. That is everything I can share in this haul. This video is probably insanely long. I'm grateful that you guys are here. Please do go and check out the crafters giveaway that I have recently posted if you're interested in entering my giveaway and uh, share the video so other people can enter. You have to be a subscriber to the channel to win that giveaway. Um, you got to be over 18. You guys know the rules and you have to know the hashtag. So you got to find out in the uh, giveaway that I posted yesterday. Please do go and check out that video in case you're interested in entering that giveaway and share the video if you think any of your friends might want to subscribe and enter the giveaway. They're more the merrier. Uh, if we get higher than 4,000 and get to 5,000, I'll have a new giveaway to offer you guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And as always, guys, stay safe and stay savvy. Bye-bye.